So we got a question from our buddy Jacob about getting back into the gym after a long layoff. So Jacob was training jiu-jitsu consistently for a year. And then afterwards, due to school and other like life reasons, he had to take that equal time, a, a year off. So he trained for a year, had to take off a year. And he's wondering, because he's forgotten all these different techniques that he used to know, what's the best way to get back into the gym? So Jacob, thank you for the question, brother. And the short answer to this question is simply, you get back in exactly the same way that you started. You do one class at a time, one day at a time, one roll at a time, and you just go forward. That's the simple answer, the short answer. But you guys don't watch me for the short answers. So. I'll give you my experience with my first big layoff and hopefully this is helpful to you. So when I first had my big, you know, sort of time off, it was about three or four months and it started with a spider bite. Basically I was training and then I, one day I had a, a bite in my leg, didn't really think about it too much. Then all of a sudden it swelled up. I had to go in the emergency room, I was in the hospital for a week and they had to cut out this whole huge chunk out of my leg, out of the side of my leg, like about like, you know, so about four or five inches like that, had to cut that thing out of my leg. And so, you know, again, I can't really train with this hole in the side of my leg. That probably wouldn't be the most sanitary thing. Um, once it started to heal up a little bit, I, I was just wrapping it up and making sure I cleaned it after training. A week into doing that, like a week back into training, I tore my meniscus cartilage on my right knee. So I was doing physical therapy for a little bit, eventually had surgery. When I kind of got out of surgery, I had kind of just been laying around and been hanging out with my girlfriend, like my new girlfriend, right? So I was super, super smitten with her. And I was just doing that all the day long. So I was just hanging out with my girlfriend. So it went from spider bite, meniscus tear, to me just being lazy with my girlfriend. Don't do that, by the way. So I had about three, month, three, four months off of no real training, nothing of any consequence. And when I first got back, it was so frustrating, man, because I remember rolling with people and like I would see the move and I couldn't do it. Like I would see like what I'm supposed to do, but I couldn't pull the trigger. And I was just wearing myself out because even when I would try to make up for that lost ground, right, I was just, I was always a second late because that timing was gone, right? Like when you hear people like when they talk about their timing being off, they're just talking about, you know, the ability for them to recognize the opportunity for a technique and be able to pull the trigger. And so all that was gone. And the more frustrating part, and this is what something you might experience, is that I had this identity that I had sort of built for myself when I left the gym. Because when I left the gym, I was like one of the best students there, right? I was like pretty much the best student there at the gym. And so I was like being able to beat most of the students and I would roll my coach. Now when I came back, I was still I think the best student there, but man, by the skin of my teeth, I was barely able to get by because everybody had been training for those three to four months, training hard, and then when I come back, I'm barely being able to get past these guys and they're wearing me out. And that was frustrating because again, that was kind of a blow to my ego. I wasn't that person anymore. You trained for about a year, Jacob, so I imagine you probably, you know, because we know there's a pecking order in jiu-jitsu, right? You've been training for a year, so you worked your way up off the bottom, I imagine. Well, you might be back at the bottom now, you don't know, and so you have to just let go of who you used to be. While you're gonna be starting in jiu-jitsu, you're gonna have more knowledge than what you did in the beginning, you need to sort of take that same beginner mindset that you had in the very start of your jiu-jitsu, which is, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm gonna suck at this, I'm just gonna step in class, and that's the goal for that day. It's not to submit anybody, it's not to win anything, it's just simply to be there, right? And you've been gone for a year, that's your biggest thing, is just get back into it. And it's weird, how not it, right? Because a lot of times when people, when they first do something, right, when they first do jiu-jitsu or anything, really, they get excited about it. They're like, oh, we get to start something new. But when they come back to something for the first time, right after they've been gone for a while, they're nervous. They're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do it. Like, it's so weird. You should be excited about this because you're finally back into it and you get to sort of start the process off. And again, this is just another sort of, side to your jiu-jitsu your jiu -jitsu path because again, your jiu-jitsu is never gonna be, con like again, I talk about this all the time. You see people say, I trained for like eight, nine years, but that doesn't mean they never had a layoff. Ambulance. Nine in the morning, ambulance. Doesn't mean that that journey went like straight without any sort of breaks, no time off, right? I, I, I've talked about this and I think in another video, I had probably within my, from my white to black belt, I probably had well over a year of time off just from injuries, from layoffs, from other things. And so that's the biggest thing that I think you're gonna have trouble with is just letting go of that sort of that identity of who you used to be. Now, as far as remembering all those old techniques, because you mentioned that, you said you forgot all those old techniques. Here's the thing, dude. Your body still remembers those. They're just in the back of your like sort of your, 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 your consciousness, right? So think about it this way. If your brain or your, your whatever it is, right, is a big filing cabinet of information, the more and more you access a particular motor pattern, right? A motor pattern simply is your movement, right? Me doing this, that's a motor pattern, right? My body does this. The more and more you access a motor pattern, your body brings that thing up to the front. So think about a filing cabinet. If you had to access a particular file often, you might take that file and instead of having it back there somewhere where you gotta rummage through something to get to it, you might put it right here in the front. 
So you can just be like, pull it out, pull it back in, right? Well, if your body's doing the same thing with your, or your body is doing the same thing when you access these motor patterns for a particular task. So if you're doing a particular like, um, you know, move in jujitsu, the more and more you do that move, the more you drill it, the more you do it during rolling, your body brings that thing to the front so it can access it much quicker. Just, it's a simple analogy, right? And so what happened is as you stop doing jujitsu, those motor patterns are all the way back there. They're still in there and you'll still remember them as you start to train your body sort of, you get to jog your body's memory of all those techniques, but you're gonna have to bring it back up and the only way to do that again is to go back to class, start training and start rolling. So. Jacob, I hope this helps you, brother. Good luck to you with your uh, start back into training. And guys, if you guys have any experience with a long layoff or you know from training or anything like that, feel free to comment down below with your experience with it, and hopefully you can help Jacob and share with others. So thank you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.